good morning children today about learning sixth class second lesson globe a model of the earth now going to the lesson one evening sundar and kalpana were looking at the moon and sundar asked if you i went to the moon what would the earth look like what can i see from their kalpana told him that they could easily find out the answers from the internet later she showed him some pictures of the earth taken from moon this is how it looked the earth is like a ball in this picture you can see that the shape of the earth is like that of the moon bring some globe to the classroom ensure that each group of 5 to 6 students as a globe a globe is a model of the earth it is shows the shape of the earth the land and water the continents and oceans and the countries of the world doesn't the earth look like a blue moon it is looks blue because a large portion of the earth is covered with oceans in the above photograph we can see only one part of the earth which receives sunshine you can see that the earth is a like a ball spherical in shape how do you think people stand on it place some standing toys people on different parts of the globe it might seem that the person at the lower parts is standing upside down or that the persons in the middle mighty just fall from the earth we never fall off the earth because the earth acts like a powerful magnet which pulls us towards it in fact we can only fall on earth but never of the earth an interesting thing about the shape of the earth is that if we keep traveling from one point in one direction without turning back we come back to the same point try this on the globe start from any point and keep going in the same line and see if you come back to the starting point scientist in an ancient period in the indian and europe had fitted out that the earth was like a ball or sphere therefore later around the 492 ce soldier like a columbus and italian explorer set out from europe with the hope of reaching india next one is oceans and continents oceans and continents as you can see on the globe most of the surface of the earth consists of water in the form of oceans if you go to the if you go to a coastal village you can observe eels seas and oceans stretch for hundreds and thousands of kilometers just endless water you can travel from one end to the other only with the help of ships 
and it might takes many days or even months to do so naturally we cannot live in this oceans we live on land you can see large sheets of land on the globe which are called continents there are seven continents is it not an interesting fact that the north pole and the south pole of the earth are covered with ice the net the north pole as a frozen ocean means arctic ocean and the south pole as a huge accumulations of ice on it this is called the antarctic shades of ice villages towns and cities are located on the continents you will find hills and valleys agriculture mines factories etc on the land on these continents next one is direction on the globe directions on the globe you had learned about the four directions in the earlier chapter you can locate the north and the south pole if you face north the east is on your right and the west is on your left the earth rotates every day from the west to the east west to the east can you rotate the globe and see how this happens you have observed the two poles on the globe what are the poles they are the two points on the opposite ends of the earth if you draw an imaginary line connecting the two poles passing through the interior of the earth it will form the axis or the line around which the earth rotates to understand this better put three or four dots on the globe in different colors from the equator to the poles now rotates the globe and observe you would notice that if you put a dot on the pole it will not move at all it will not move at all what happens to the dots placed on the equator next one is next one is lines on the globe you will see many lines cross the globe some run from the north pole to the south pole the others run round the earth from west to east this imaginary lines drawn by map maker help us locate place on the globe and maps we will see how they are drawn in later classes now we will look at the most important lines this concept of lines on the globe called latitudes and longitudes along with poles where will known to the our indian anesthetists like aryabhatta who used the terms to explain the place next one is next one is latitudes these are the imaginary lines that are drawn from west to east can you spot these lines compare the length of this lines do you think they are all of the same length the longest of these lines is called the equator it divides 
the globe into two equal elves called hemispheres identify the equator on the globe and note down the continents it passes through also identify the northern and the southern hems pairs in which hemispheres is indian located which hemisphere as more water than land next one is longitudes longitudes this imaginary lines run from one pole to the other unlike the latitude these lines are of the same length there are two main like longitudes the greenwich line which is also called the zero degree longitudes and the international date line which is also called 180 180 degree east and west longitude you will learn more about the importance of these lines in higher classes the longitudes and latitudes create a net that covers the map and help us to locate places if you know the latitude and longitude of a place you can easily locate it on the globe or a map it is a second lesson 